Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Duke Silver and these are going to be the stream highlights from my first couple sessions of Rogue Legacy 2. Um, I think this is my, maybe my second uh, second stream. I, I only played a few minutes for the first time and uh, and yeah this is uh, these will be just kind of the highlights leading up to uh, to the first boss uh, completion kill whatever you want to call it. But yeah, at this point, I have finished the first playthrough of Rogue Legacy, and I'm like uh, roughly halfway through the uh, new game plus. Um, definitely let me know if you want to see more more of this or what you think of the video. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. All right. Uh, we want to do we want to just like unlock all the traits and spells and stuff so we know what they do. I mean, Knight with Hyper Gonadism. I'm pretty sure that's just like extra knockback. So it's fun. Plus Lightning Storm is a spell, that sounds dope. Invested in a little bit of damage, so now we should be able to tear through these this first area. I was gonna say I should be able to tear through this first area, but immediately ate my words. <laughs> oh. I just like landed on top of those spikes. It didn't take damage randomly. That was weird. I don't know the ma the main boss or something. <laughs> like all the estuaries are different mouths that all lead to the same kind of stream. Does that make sense? I feel like that doesn't make sense. It made sense in my head, but immune to static spikes. I don't know that I've seen static spikes. Those are the ones that I activate when you walk on them, right? Body buffet. Or Freon's reward. Opening chest restores. Okay, so we've gotten this one before, so we choose the one that we haven't gotten before. Defeated enemies have an 8% chance of dropping a health drop. Ooh, that seems really good. Both of them are um, sustained, so. Um, yeah, we'll just take the health for now. Heron's ring. Right, right. I I constantly forget to use my spell. With skeleton key. Every door a window, every chest a reward. On the battlefield, one must always be aware of the frail soldier. Um, let's try skeleton key. Open locked or melted fairy chests. Oh, okay. So if you like... Uh, miss out on a on a fairy chest you can you can still uh, open it that's cool we get another portal these portals are pretty good oh no i didn't turn around when i thought i did I just realized how low I am. Oh my god, I walked right into him. Alright, well, at least we can get a new spell and uh and trait unlocked here or at least uh revealed so these uh i guess these antiques are like uh starting relics because they lower your resolve plus 50 percent gold for panic attack for a mage 
Uh, let's go with the Marshall or Sir Marshall here. We get panic attacks. Which gives us extra gold. I assume there's some downside. Getting hit darkens the screen. Oh, okay. You like close your eyes when you get hit. We can take some uh, max HP here. Oh wow, didn't even see that. Don't think I'm ready for the boss quite yet. Especially since I've got a character that is getting extra gold right now. I kind of want to farm. Wow. But I mean, can't really farm if we just die. This seems to be the way I'm headed. Yeah, I beat the first one. I've just, I've just started this one. I got it back when it was, like first entered early access but it was like very far from complete. Nice that we can attack through walls with this uh, attack. Gotta really play it safe here. Oh my God. These knives, these knives, I always under underestimate their range. We'll take Raven's ring here. For every point of resolve below 125, deal an additional 1% bonus damage. Neat. We need to survive to get another, uh, to get some more relics to take our resolve down, but. Oh. Oh, we survive at one. Hey, we get another relic before we die. We get to do some more weapon damage. Anti Kithara. The Serrated Handles Bargain. Do this one. Costs more resolve, so we get some. Get the other um, relic that we have, get some benefit. 10% more magic damage per enemy defeated. Bonus lost when hit 30 or 50%. Yeah, yeah, it did sound, sound like something you want. That wants you to take damage, right? Like a like a barbed, like a weapon grip kind of thing. Like maybe it adds life steal, but you take damage per attack or something. I feel like this is a uh, pretty risky. Okay. I guess there's nothing down there. Good to know. We got a uh, mage up past rank one though. Science, exactly. We sacrifice in the name of science here. Uh, this one has cartographer. Gives us extra 25% gold. Let's go with uh, this barbarian, Sir Ryan. Right. Barbarian doesn't just have a sword anymore. Kind of cool. Definitely an improvement over Rogue Legacy where every class just had sword. Except for like Archer or whatever. Uh, Cloak of Eventide. Voltaic Circlet. I don't know. Cloak of Eventide sounds kind of cool. Can't remember. All right. We'll figure it out eventually. Ooh, an epic relic. Standing still for 1.2 seconds grants you cloak. What does that do? I guess the enemies probably won't be able to see me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use that even. Because I'm pretty sure things still hit me. Oh, they don't. Neat. 
Okay, we're, we're just the right height that it sails above us. Otherwise, that'd be really hard to actually get through here. Done that wrong. <laughs> All right, it's fine. It's fine. We can get this health back. Still, still getting my barbarian legs underneath me. I actually really don't like this jumping attack. Seems to do so much less than the regular standing attack. At least we do a lot of damage with the standing attack. We one-shot most enemies so far. It was all about standing on the ground and attacking with Barbarian, I think. Wow. I thought for sure I hit it. Right, I don't have a map marker, so I just kind of have to go by... I have to kind of remember what rooms I've been in. Makes sense, because I just clear everything out in these rooms, but... What if I just cheese them from down here? It's like... So hard to get the uh, the swing, the jumping attack though. All right, I guess I can't cheese all of them. Oh, uh, I want to get these these this uh, currency on the ground here, but wow, really uh, didn't even collect the coins. Except, uh, took all that damage for nothing. Um, I think we want to go this one because we only have 126% resolve and dropping below 100% reduces our max HP, I believe. The silk slippers seems more interesting than Catalyst. Scientific Annihilation. All right, we'll take we'll take Catalyst. Deal 20% bonus damage to enemies with a status effect. Okay. So... Pretty irrelevant. Oh, I guess we can set things on fire with our fireball. Is this the other area? Yeah. Can't quite do anything here yet. Um, I mean, we could take a crack at the boss. Yeah, you know, maybe I will just to see, just to see what it's like. Oh. You gotta light them up. You gotta light them pretty quick there. Insight resolved. Lighting the way. Estuary Lamech. Lamech. Yeah, we got like first phase done, I guess. All right, those home in. No, wait. I got it. Okay. I thought they, I thought he got me first. All right, we just crushed the first boss. No big deal. Not even close. Six HP left. <laughs> All right. Not bad. Thank you, Spilo. 
And there we have it. That is the first boss taken down in the first attempt. That was definitely uh, a little bit hard to watch. <laughs> As I said, I've beaten the game by now, and there's like uh, there's like challenge runs and stuff where you can like fight like double bosses. Like you can fight um, doubles of like the first boss in uh, in sort of like a little challenge thing on the docks. Um, and yeah, I uh, I got pretty good at that. So so I ended up uh, ended up learning the patterns for that first boss really well, having to beat two of them at the same time. So watching that first fight is a bit uh. A little bit tough just just watching me uh, just just face tank a, a bunch of hits there and not being able to easily ab avoid uh, the very very easily telegraphable moves but uh, but yeah anyways we got we got that in first try so I thought that was kind of cool uh, but yeah again let definitely let me know if you want to see more uh, I I was kind of planning on doing like a, like one boss per video kind of thing and just like chop up the the stream um, in this style so uh, but yeah very open feedback as always um, yeah uh please remember to like and subscribe and whatnot you know do all that all that fun youtube stuff um liking the video really helps the channel because it lets uh youtube know that it should recommend my content to more people and i would very much appreciate that and uh yeah i hope you all have a great rest of your day and i will see you tomorrow